Hey guys, welcome to the second part of enhancing your customer service. Let's go. The next thing is the housekeeping statuses. So especially during the pandemic, but also without the pandemic context, you definitely provide housekeeping services to all of your rooms. So even if the free version, even in the free version, you can manage the housekeeping. Of course, in the standard and pro versions, you have some housekeeping reports that can be automatically sent to your housekeeping staff members and some other great features. But let's just work on what we have with the free version. So here on the left, on the KW Hotel Freeze calendar, if you click here, you open the housekeeping statuses. So if you select, for example, that this room is clean, you will immediately know it from the get-go. And this is helpful if someone calls you and says that I want to come today and I want to start my reservation today and you want to be sure that you don't give him a dirty room or something that was not disinfected and so on. You can just have a quick look here and you will see the statuses. You can also set them automatically for all rooms, for example, like that. So I double clicked it, set for all rooms, and I clicked clean. You also have the clean checked option. So if, for example, the housekeeping member opens KW Hotel and he types that this is cleaned, we also have this hotel cleanup application that can do it automatically, but it's available for the pro version only. And in, you can you can also check yes check his work check if he did it correctly and then you click clean checked but what's great is that if I create a reservation let's just do it here again let's use Mariusz and if I let's click the check-in guest let's let's not dwell into details right now Let's say it's occupied. Let's save it. Okay. And I'll just, um, I'll just move it a bit one day to the left. Because what I want to do is I want to check out my guest. Just to show you one thing. And if I check out my guest, what it does, it automatically highlights the room as dirty. Because if someone was using this room, you definitely should open the room clean it up, the disinfect it, and so on. Okay, now we will be moving to the configuration section, which also hosts some great, great features. So we will start with tools, configuration. And we are in the calendar section. And in the calendar section, in the free version, because the majority of these features will be usable, useful only in the standard or pro versions. And if you want to learn more about them, I will leave you the link to my article about all the configuration options that are in KW Hotel. And you can see how, how the other options are working. But trust me, you can really customize a lot in KW Hotel. Also, you can automate a lot in KW Hotel Standard and Pro. So it's, it's great to at least have a read of these features. So it will be in the link to this video. So let's get back to, to work. In the calendar for the free version, I really recommend you to turn on the comments here. What it does, I should play not with the width, but with the height. Okay, if I play with the height, it will be displayed. So the first line of comments, so that's why you only see other. The first line of comments will be displayed on the reservation strip in the calendar. Um, of course, um, the larger it gets, the better. Let's, let's, okay. Yeah, this, this is what I wanted to achieve. Sorry for the, for the delay. So if you have it like that, you can see the comments directly on the screen and some and if you put the most valuable information for your receptionist in the front as a first line of comments this is how it will look like now coming back to the age groups if you remember when i was creating rate plans there was this moment when i told you that this means child one child two child three and i said that this can be customized so how to do it you go to tools 
configuration. And we go to the other tab. And here on the top, you see Jetsco 1, Jetsco 2, Jetsco 3, which is in Polish, child 1, child 2, child 3. And these, these are the age groups. So as I said in the Ray Plans video, age groups don't have to be revolving around children. You can of course do it in like by years. So you can do it like zero to six, then the second category can be seven to 13, and for example, 14 to, to 17, okay? So if you want to have different, different prices for each age group, for children, for teenagers, child, and so on, you can do it like that. But it's not a problem to change it to children um, 1 to 17. Okay, let's say just children, you can, you can have elder people and, and some other room group. So you, you decide what room group is, which age group is which. So in my case, I'll just make it 0, 6, 7, 13 and 14, 17. And next to the age group, um, age group we have just created, we also have these full and half meals option. So if you have a standard or pro version, you can fully manage your canteen and restaurant to settle customers faster make, and make the communication between the front desk and other stations of the hotel much more efficient. And if you have one of these versions, one of our solutions, you can also assign meals automatically to the given age groups or given, given people reservations. And here you can simply select if this person is eligible for half meal or full meal. As I said, this is not for the standard version, so I will not be explaining it in, it in detail. And let's move on. Okay, we have two more options to have a look at. So the first one, or ones, <laughs> are the obligatory fields. So if you look on this, on this list, we have obligatory fields in the reservation window and in the customer window. So if you want to collect some information at, for every reservation, for every customer, you don't have to remember it. You can force KW Hotel to, to ask you to collect this information. If you don't fill it out, you won't be able to save the reservation. And this is also great because you can do the same for collecting payments, for example. So if you have a standard or pro version, you can create different user accounts so that you always know who is using KW Hotel at the given moment, who exactly has created the reservation, who exactly has performed the given action in, in the reservation, for example, who has added or subtracted the payment. And you can also force the receptionist to, for example, issue a fiscal document whenever he accepts payment. So this is a great way to control your front desk to make sure that this cash flow is not leaking anywhere, if you know what I mean. So this is one of the options to, to play with. And here you can also work with obligatory fields. So if you always want to fill out the source of reservation, for example, you, you want to pull out the reports later on, which can be done in the standard and pro versions. You want to pull out the reports, which channels, which distribution channels give you the most profit. For example, is it booking.com or perhaps you have more walk-ins and so on. This is how you can do it, but this has to be done um, um, very regularly. So for every reservation, there should be a source of reservation. And this is the way to assure that, that your receptionist always does it. So you can check them here and let's say um, I'll put the source of reservation as obligatory one. I save my reservation. Now let's go here and let's create a reservation without specifying the source of reservation. So again, Mariusz, because why not? And let me, let's say I want to save it. But as you can see, I can't do it because this is <clears throat> my obligatory field. I have to write walk-in or I should select it from the list if I create some reservation sources later on. And I click save. And this is the moment it allows me to save. Okay, and the last but not least is the option to, let me just open it. It's other, page two. 
and this is the option let me just check in, check it okay do not allow check-in before keys are handed to the guest so in kw also free standard and pro you can hand you can mark that keys to the room have been given or taken from the guest i'll show it in a moment but if you always want to um, remember to hand in the keys to your customer because different things can happen you can mark it here and let me just save it and um, let's make a reservation where where I'll try to hand the keys um, just a moment let me find okay so we have a reservation for today let's type Mariusz again and this is the option to hand out keys and let me just not do it let me just leave it i'll check myself in and first of all i have to fill out the field and as you can see when i click save it tells me mariusz i must hand the keys to the guest first so i give him the key and then i write that i have given a single key i click save and only then if i go here i can see i have handed one key if i click save now the reservation will save. Okay guys, so this was just a fraction of options that are possible in the free version. As I mentioned, this is a fraction because in the standard and pro version you can do a way more. And what I mean is that you can have reminders, you can have automated emails and text messages to your guests, to your staff, you can apply services and dozens of other features that will make your property the number one choice for your tourists worldwide so i'll see you in the next video when we will be discussing vouchers so vouchers is the option to tackle the problem that is very very um, apparent during the pandemic reservation cancellations this is what vouchers can fight with and i'll explain it in the next video so hope to see you there